In those days, in the Egypt of the Pharaohs, Cleopatra reigned. How dare you! You, Ptolemy, my brother, my spouse. No one gets away with insult to a goddess. My vengeance shall be forever engraved upon the memories of mortals. The feud between siblings plunged Alexandria into a bloody civil war, shattering my peaceful life as a student of astrology. My nights were spent gazing at the stars up on high when I discovered Iris, my pole star. She was daughter to Akkad, my mentor in astrology. But my carefree days ended with the onset of civil war. Iris refused to flee Alexandria. She wanted to help her father with a mysterious commission, an astrological divination. I could no longer see her. Our only contact was the little notes we hid for each other. But that day, as I walked into the garden of the observatory, I was oblivious to what would befall me. Blood! What's been going on here? Iris! Akkad! Where have they gone? Whoever left his blood here is seriously wounded. May Osiris come to his aid. Let's see if Iris has left a message. Yes! Thanks be to Osiris. But I don't understand this message at all. It seems to be in code. Cod's Bronze Pyramid. Cod was always so evasive about what it was for. Blood. Again. Whoever was wounded here tried to flee the garden. Watch out! The side of the pyramid facing the sun is burning hot! A writing case. It's irises and it's been damaged, but I can still use it. It's its wing on the ground. Iris would never have thrown it out. And Iris, what's happened to her? The stick has been broken in two. It looks like one of the rulers from the observatory. The statue of Eros is intact. Iris always said there was nothing anywhere that could stop Eros's arrows. She's crazy. Sometimes I wonder what goes through her mind. I spoke too soon. The statue's arrow has vanished. A theater mask. What's it doing here? A cod's crown. It's been broken. The vegetation has been trampled as if there's been a struggle. God's mausoleum. My master built it to house his mortal remains the day of his death. I hope that day is still a long, long way off. Another piece of stick. Iris's bracelet. Someone seems to have been hiding here. I must keep an eye on this wall. I don't want to get an arrow in the back. Why isn't there an arrow in the bow of the other Eros statue in the garden? The arrow on this one is fixed to the statue. A pot of bitumen. It's sticky, but still, it could be useful. You never know. Whew, quite a stretch. These hippopotamus heads are intriguing. Wait, what am I doing? I don't have time for this. The leaves have blocked the overflow again. Hang on. Yes! It's a strip of papyrus. Now, how to reach it? No! It's getting away! My 
horoscope was right. The gods are against me today. Current has swept the papyrus to the opposite bank. The report of the adventure is available in the... The stick is as good as new. Let's see what's written here. It's almost unreadable. The papyrus is water damaged. It has to be dried first. You have several tabs at your disposal to arrange your inventory. The heat of the pyramid dried the papyrus in no time. Let's get down to it. Letters become readable when inked. The message is still incomprehensible, though. It's incredible! The strip of papyrus rolls perfectly around the stick, and the letters form words. Let's read what Iris wrote. Thomas, my father is in danger. The man who commissioned the divination has sent a killer after him. I have to stop him. Iris is really cunning. The strip of papyrus rolls around the stick and the letters line up into words. They injured my father. Help us. Go into the observatory. If you can correctly name the Arrow constellation, then the two places it points to, Sagittarius and Eros, will open the doors to you. The Celestial Sphere. Master Akkad uses it for teaching apprentice astrologers about the constellations. 